Outside, it is a two-classroom block. But inside one of the rooms, a space meant to be an office has been turned into a house and is being occupied by a teacher. This is at Chibinda Primary School in Chipoka Ward in Mansa District of Lopula Province. Occupant, Mwansabualia, says he has been forced to squat in this room due to lack of accommodation at the school. The way it is at Chibinda Primary, we are about 13 uh, staffs, 13 teachers. And uh, only six have been given uh, accommodation. Only six have got houses. The next, we don't have houses. As I'm talking right now, I only occupy a office of which we need the government to help us to construct uh, some infrastructures for us. Yes. Okay. As if that is not enough, the school is also grappling with cases of dropouts due to early child marriage. Five grade nine girls are reported to have dropped out of school early this year and they are alleged to have been married off. Uh, it was in May when we were uh, sensitizing people for the community about the early marriages. We had people from Minsi, from Mansa called the Dua. They came to sensitize the community about the dangers of early marriage in this area. But still the response is not okay. Some of their parents are forcing their children to get married quickly so that others may have money to support their family. Then others just want, other parents just want their children to leave the house. And PF Bahati Area Member of Parliament, Harry Kalaba, says he is aware of the accommodation challenge at the school. We know about that problem and the problem of accommodation now because of the expanded population, uh, increased access to, to, to the towns. I mean, it's also attracting a lot of teachers to go to this school. So, but we are working together to see how well we can uh, ameliorate the problems of, uh, of housing in our, in our schools. Mr. Kalaba has also expressed concern at the reports of the five grade nine girls who are alleged to have been married off by their parents. Sometimes it's parents themselves who are pushing young girls to go into marriages. We have had cases where we have had to drag these parents into to the chiefs for them to be censured, but the habit seems to continue. So we'll continue talking about it in order for them to, to stop. The two situations have become major problems in Zambia's education sector. This, therefore, calls for concerted efforts from stakeholders to find means of addressing the challenges. McPherson Mukukam, ZNBC News, Mansa.